Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, so Adam Warlock. And after watching his deep dive, which is just now out, I can say that he looks even more broken than he initially did. And uh, yeah, it is quite clear that Kabam is trying to create an absolutely OP new cosmic champion to join the ranks of, you know, Herc, Hulkling, so on and so forth. Uh, whether they have overdone it, we'll see, but based from what I have seen, the man is going to be an absolute monster, and probably offensively and defensively, but let's break down some of his abilities. So obviously, he will have access to true damage, unblockable regen, furies, all but guaranteed hit, crits, immunity to nullify, stagger, <laughs> neutralize, fate seal, immunity to shock, incinerate, cold snap, frostbite, access to massive fury buffs and uh count as well so you can play super aggressively so let's 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 it's kind of like again one of those things when kabam just you know which abilities will adam warlock have and kabam answered yes <laughs> okay so well, let's start with his uh innate thing he gains power effectively the same as havoc he gains slightly less power by hitting the opponent and getting hit, but he passively gains 2.5% power power each second, uh, which, you know, can be a good thing, can be a bad thing, but, you know, it is what it is. Additionally, when Adam has his power stolen, he stops gaining power uh, over time for 12 seconds, which kind of sucks. So, you know, stealing his power could be a very, very good solution to him. Additionally, when Adam has his power drained or burned, he gains a non-stacking 50% energized passive for 12 seconds so it is going to be very important you want to steal not drain or burn and against non-mystic opponents adam's ability combat po ability power rate cannot be reduced which is super important against it so you're not going to be able to use petrifies from science champions and stuff like that against him just making him harder to fight against Right, so moving on, obviously he has his sovereign counter mechanic, which is going to be the entire basis of it. You activate that sovereign counter by using your special one or two, or simply hitting opponent's block, which is going to be how offensively you get it done in most cases. If you do activate it by hitting opponent's block, you automatically start at 10 charges, and you will have the unblockable buff and true damage immediately. Then reaching 20 charges, you get the precision, I believe. And then reaching the next ones, you get the fury. Here you can see, yes. So we have unblockable at the first hit, two damage at 10, precision buff at 20, massive fury at 30 hits. At 40 hits, end the sovereignty counter and all buffs are granted by it and gain a stackable fury buff, increasing the attack rating by. A huge amount still for 60 seconds which is a very long duration paused while the sovereign sovereignty counter is active so you can it's going to be even longer than 60 seconds. additionally the sovereignty counter and all about non-stacking buffs are refreshed and paused while adam is inside his stasis pod and during either champion's special attacks so it is going to be relatively easy to uh, maintain them in most cases unless there's going to be a very 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 dodgy ai because you have count which is going to force opponents to throw special attacks more freely whenever either champions activate special attack all these buffs are refreshed and paused and if you are get struggling with that you can always enter your stasis uh, pod to refresh those buffs as well and with that you will be able to deal some significant amount of damage <laughs> and uh also, whenever you do parry, you basically end your counter for 12 seconds and you gain your sovereignty buff. Now, sovereignty buff comes with additional benefit. This buff cannot, cannot have its ability accuracy reduced or be nullified, staggered, or fate sealed by champions. New personal buffs become sovereign. Sovereign buffs cannot, leave, uh, can have, cannot have their ability accuracy reduced. So, Concussion doesn't matter. Neutralize immune to gain immunity to nullify stagger and fate seal caused by champions. That's perfectly normal for a cosmic champion these days. Also, stun debuffs inflicted by opponents. Party mastery suffer minus one hundred percent ability accuracy. 
So again, sovereignty buff you activate when you parry your opponent and you have the rest of your buffs active. Um, so it's going to be quite easy to access and you're going to have your nullify, stagger and fatal immunity, which again is very, very bonkers and busted. Not to mention that, you know, being immune to opponent's parries is increasingly a major thing because opponent, because AI is out of control and also immune to neutralize, not too bad. Right. And now we need to look at his stasis pod, which is where even a whole slew of craziness comes together. Man, he's just so broken. Like, there's no other way around it. So you can enter your stasis pod manually by double tapping on the block. You can also um, enter your stasis pod after your level 2 with less benefits, but it's still going to be a very important part of gameplay loop. But let's just first figure out what does the stasis pod actually do. So he's locked into place and then cannot use attacks or be interrupted. All incoming damage is reduced by 75%. Instantly regenerate 74% of all incoming da damage unless suffering from soul barb, which is like only Mordo. Lower the ability accuracy of damaging debuffs, excluding soul barb, and heal block effect by 100%. So whilst he's in that pod, opponent won't be able to stack any damaging debuffs on you. Additionally, when entering the stasis pod, gain energy protection buff, granting immunity to shock, incinerate, cold snap, and frostbite for 60 seconds. And again, I will repeat it. You can activate this at the beginning of the fight. So you can bring him in against Iceman, double tap, and you're going to be cold snap immune, and good, those debuffs go away. So this is just stupid. <laughs> stupid. Uh, and yeah, and obviously then we're going to have his original damage. So when he enters stasis, but basically, you know, he does take some damage, but he reaches back virtually all of it. If you have him awakened every time he enters stasis pod, he will also be regenerating 10% of his missing health. So that's going to be actual form of regen, not just damage mitigation. And that energy protection buff just gives you like all the immunities. So that's quite sweet. Oh, and there is even more. <laughs> We're going to need to look at the ability for that. And obviously, all of his fury buffs are going to be quite significant, quite massive there. And uh, Adam Warlock uh, is just going to be clapping away at virtually everybody. Now his SIG ability. When entering the stasis pod, gain a regeneration buff, healing 10% of missing health over 2 seconds. So it's very quick. Also, when the opponent strikes into the pod, they have a 100% chance to be inflicted with a stun debuff for 2 seconds unless suffering from soul barb. Meaning that after your level 2, you enter stasis pod, your opponent's going to be attacking and you can just keep smacking at them. Or whenever you feel like it, you can just double tap. The, well, not once per fight, you can double tap your... Uh, block enter the stasis pod and just get a random opening by stunning the opponent as well and uh, that is his loop as well his special attacks by the sound of it don't really do anything too much his level one um, stuns the opponent letting you kind of extend your loop and be super aggressive and his special two after ending after the end of special two enters uh, well lets you enter the stasis pod and obviously that will let you stun the opponent and regen and stuff like that. His level 3 just gives you additional massive fury as well. So there is like three different types of furies that you can get with the guy. And uh, yeah, he's absolutely bonkers. I, I, I'm, you know, genuinely worried about the balancing update. I mean, I'm not like super worried about it because Kabam is intentionally making him like very strong and they kind of know that he's going to be very popular and present champion in the game at the same time have they overdone it perhaps because if you add together so let's break it down true damage ignoring a lot of resistances and whatnot unblockable almost guaranteed crits massive furies uh, region, count, immunity to incinerate, cold snap, frostbite, and shock on top of, you know, some other random crap like tanking specials and damage with your stasis pod and guns and whatnot. 
it, it, it is bonkers. <laughs> like, the champion is obviously quite bonkers. No question about it. At least it appears to be quite bonkers. Obviously, we'll see how he integrates himself in the game. It is very early days. Do not jump to sort of final conclusions. But in, you know, to me personally, it is almost all but clear that the guy is going to be very, very, very strong. And then we have some synergies. The synergy department is actually kind of irrelevant. We have synergies with Mr. Negative, Green Goblin, Anti-Venom, where some Fury buff potency or extra attack rating during special 2 is nothing special at all. Um, so, you know, slight increase in Fury buffs. Wow. Uh, hits that deal through damage, deal additional 8%. Again, nothing crazy there. Like, slightly more burst on Vision or something. Again, nothing really there. And then this one is kind of decent. When the champion gains 4 plus buffs, gain an aptitude buff, increasing the potency of precision fury and armor effect by 25% for 15 seconds, cooldown 15 seconds. So, you know, this one could be useful, but again, it's nothing important. So in synergy department, there's virtually nothing really to speak of. But, you know, the dude's just overloaded. So he's... Oh yeah, right. I forgot to mention before. <laughs> right. So let's recap again. True damage. Unblockable. Pretty much guaranteed crits, many different furies, immune to cold snap, incinerate, shock, frostbite, access to taunt, access to stuns on easy openings after his level 2 and level 1. Uh, additionally, immune to. So that was already 10. Uh, additionally, immune to neutralize, fate seal, nullify, stagger. And uh, God knows what else is there. So, yeah, the stasis pod thing. And has regen as well. So, it's like, you know, 15 notable points of utility. For a cosmic champion with seemingly great damage, it's just going to be stupid. But, let's see how it works out. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about